Hey guys, welcome back to Modern Golf. Hope you guys had a great week. Today's upload's a little different and I want to kind of give a preface of what we're watching uh, before we get started. So I was fortunate enough to uh, go behind the scenes about 10 days before X-Golf and Solon's grand opening. This video is broken down in three parts. First part is a very quick overview and a tour of the facility and it's gorgeous. Um, part two is going to be an FAQ with the owners and GM explaining their hours, pricing, uh, all their pertinent information. Part three is a very in-depth demo of the incredible technology th these guys have. Again, certainly don't hesitate to reach out to me, X-Golf, if you guys have any questions on their facility, rentals, any of that good stuff. Uh, please like and subscribe. And again, don't hesitate to comment, uh, certainly below in the comment section, uh, if you have any questions. Hope you guys have an incredible week. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, welcome to X Golf Soul, and we're here with Derek, Joe, and John. Um, let's get into this. So, brand new, you guys are officially opening by time this, this will probably be out next week. So, you guys will be officially open by the time this hits my social medias and certainly your guys. Let's get into really, and I know you and I talked off camera, how this all got started, where your thought of building an X Golf in, in Soul and came from. Take that, you want me to take that? <laughs> right. So I would say um, John, George, and I, the, the ownership group, right, we we're interested in investing in something. And um, we we're avid golfers, and we had been going to local simulator places, hitters out on the west side, started going to the X Golf last winter over in Avon, um, just as a way to keep our swings up in the winter, I would say. And we were on a golf trip in what Scottsdale, right? Yep, and we yep. were actually talking about getting a rental property um, to invest in. And at the time, the housing market was was pretty rough. Houses were it was not a good time to be investing in houses. And we started to think like, man, like you know, do what you love, right? So we're always going to this golf simulator place. And I think George threw out the idea like we should look into an X Golf. It's a, it's a franchise. We knew it was a franchise, um, and we did. And basically reached out like, yeah, we're franchising. We're avidly looking for for new owners and we kind of started exploring seriously from that point and kind of got us to this point cool ultimately. and i asked you guys earlier off camera but almost a year from start and we'll say close to finish line but almost a year from start to finish yeah i'd say about a year from the from the time we had the first conversation with them until until today what are your hours once you guys open monday through sunday kind of give us what your hours are going to be um, yeah, definitely like to cater to all golfers, right? You have your group of golfers that love coming in in the morning, grabbing some coffee. So we're open Monday through Sunday. Monday to Friday hours are 9 a.m. Or I'm sorry, Monday to Thursday hours are 9 a.m. till 10 p.m. Okay. Um, on the weekends, we stay open a little later till midnight at least. If there's people here hanging out, we have the flexibility to keep the place open until 2 a.m. when the state requires us to stop, you know, stop serving. So is that really when your final, it, it, you guys will, can stay open till 2 in here then? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Very yep. cool. Our liquor license, we can stay open till 2. I think we're only going to have the sim bookings probably available till midnight, but if people are in here and they want to keep So that's, that's the next question. So how long... I know you guys are brand new, but how long out do people need to make reservations for? What would you suggest? I mean, you guys have dealt with this long enough. I mean, you're talking weeks, months. How long do you think people need to make a reservation? In the winter months, for sure, it's, you know, the sim times are hard to come by. In the winter months where nobody can play golf outside, people are flocking to indoor golf establishments. So yeah. definitely want to book tee times as soon as you can. Um, 
once the outdoor golf starts, offer a little bit more flexibility in bookings and can kind of, you know, wait till the last minute. If there's a rain delay, you can always jump in here. You know, if your uh, tee time gets canceled, can jump in here and, and get a quick round then. Part of it too is we have eight sims, so we, we have a lot of sims here, right? So. Can hold a lot of people. Yeah. The sims are done charge per hour, correct? It's correct. not per person or what have you. I've been, not X-Golf, been through other ones before, about 18 holes if you go by yourself per hour, is that what you guys are seeing mm -hmm. per? Yeah, 18 holes by yourself, you can get that done in an hour. A group okay. of four guys playing 18 holes, you're looking at three and a half to four hours. Um, on a weekday, it's about 50 bucks an hour, so 200 bucks divided by four guys, you're paying 50 bucks to play a round of golf. You know, which is, I would say, cheaper than what you're going to pay anywhere else. And you're getting catered to at the full service bar, great beverages, air conditioning when it's hot in the summer, heat when you can't play outside. So, so yeah, that's, that's how the pricing works. Cool. So, memberships are going to be available or they're currently available? Yep, memberships. We'll be posting about those and rates will be going out for those soon. Can you get into a little bit about, I know we talked about it, the different memberships that you and I talked about. Um, annual, you had kind of, can you go over some of those things we talked yeah, about? Yeah, for sure. Um, the first concept is to have an annual membership where people can kind of get a bulk, a bulk discount on, on prepaying for a portion of their Sims and have certain times where they can come in and, and leverage that quote unquote membership. Right? Okay. Um, in the summertime, we're also planning to have like a driving range membership um, for those folks that want to come in and get their metrics on the sim and, and get some actual kind of, you know, I think we plan to have something like that. And then we'll have lunchtime specials, right? At least for the folks that are local where they can come in on their lunch break, grab a bite to eat and hit, you know, call, quote unquote, a bucket of balls, um, yeah. you know, to get ready. Bar and restaurant will be open next week. Is that the, the plan? Then, Full menu? Full menu, full liquor license. So liquor, beer, wine. Um, seltzers, the, the whole bit. Yeah. Wow, wow, that's great. So lessons will be available starting when exactly? Yeah, we have a golf pro, um, Carl, so we have a private bay over here where Carl will be doing some lessons, so lessons will be available as soon as we open to start setting up those lesson plans and packages. Um, typically, we want to start with a swing analysis where we get you in here for about 45 minutes, put you on the, the V1 software that we use, and kind of understand, like Carl's going to want to understand what are your goals as a player, right? What are, you, what are you trying to achieve? And design a plan that makes sense for you depending on what you're wanting to put in and kind of get out of that, that program. And then fittings. Long-term plan, you guys ideally would have fittings with different manufacturers. Is that the... That's the goal long term. We haven't quite got that far yet. We need to kind of set up those relationships. But Carl is trained to do fittings, so um, absolutely planning to look to do fittings and set up some relationships with the manufacturers where we can do fittings here, as well as regripping things of that nature. Right. So we have eight bays. Are they all? I would say first come, first serve. But there's not one that's different than it. Obviously, the one over here we looked at is for your pro. So there's seven addition ones, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, we've got eight bays. They're all going to be bookable. Theoretically, when the lessons really start flowing, Carl's going to be using this as much as possible for the lessons. But ultimately, unless there's a lesson booked at that time, all this, the bays are open and, and, and bookable. If someone's looking for more of a private experience, that's kind of what Sim 2 over here behind us is designed for. Okay. Um, but all the Sims are identical. It's uh, the same great technology in all of them. And this will go for all you guys. So if I'm brand new, I've never seen a simulator before. I've only seen them in Golf Galaxy or what have you tell me as as simple as you can why x golf is so much different and better than really your competitors out there joe what do you think i want your opinion on that because this is like you know we've been around it for a while and we brought you into this uh, why don't you put your opinion on that sure well i think the biggest thing to me is when you hit the ball you don't have to go get it <laughs> it automatically <laughs> funnels down you hit a button it comes right back to you now you know, trying to catch a ball wherever it might go when you're hitting it at any other simulator, it's going to give you another five minutes. It's going to take a lot longer of a round. This just goes quicker. It's a lot easier. And then just like the putting itself, you know, a lot of simulators, there's a giant arrow on the screen. You're trying to hit it. You don't know how hard to hit it. This is well, the most anchor you could ever get not being on a golf course. Um, yeah, with these sims, you actually have a player profile so you can set your tee height anywhere from zero to 100. It remembers you in the system, so every time you're up to drive, it just automatically sets your tee height. So in terms of expediting the game and really kind of keeping the game moving, it helps out a lot in that fashion. Well, that's really neat. I, I didn't know it did that. Yeah. So it knows, like, if you're up, he's he likes a certain height, and if you're up... Yep. It'll yeah. have your picture, it'll have your profile. It's tied to the X-Golf app, so you can manage your handicap. You can enter leagues and manage your standings in the X-Golf app. So now, are there... Cool. 
memberships, like someone's first coming out to X Golf. I know some other places you have to join, you know, whatever the fee is to be a member of X Golf. Are there any fees that someone has to sign to get their information into your system? No, name, email, phone number. That's really all we need to create a profile for you. Ultimately, yeah. if they set up a profile in the X Golf app, we got some, some posters in here where you can scan, set up a profile, and it doesn't cost anything. And okay. then when you go into play on a sim, it'll prompt you to scan a QR code and it'll take all your data and kind of record that for you and it'll already know your T height, but there's no cost whatsoever. I know I know we are focused on Solon today, but if you have that information does it work at any other sure x golf so when you go to scottsdale yep it if sure they have does. one there i'm sure they do yep. yeah, um, it'll work there as well it sure does that national franchise behind you right to be able to fund and do really cool things like that not only that but with uh we talked about tournaments earlier like the national tournaments and sponsoring big big prize packs for the saint patty's day scramble just yesterday um, the winner of that got uh, like an all expense paid to Cabo St. Lucas here. So, wow. So having that, that backing of the franchise definitely enables a lot of that. Yeah. So you're not really on your own little island. You are to a certain degree, but you have some expertise. Individually owned and operated, but yeah. again, lots of support coming back from, from corporate. You know, 60 to 70 X Golf's open now. Plan is to have 100 open by the end of 2023. So the involvement from corporate's been, been really helpful. How many courses on your simulators currently? So there's 52 courses, 27 in the U.S., about 20 in Korea, and the rest are throughout the country or the world, I should say. Oh, that's an answer. Logistics. Six in Michigan, yeah. four. In, <laughs> <laughs> that's an answer. <laughs> some of the most, you know, some of the most noteworthy courses that you've heard, you know, Pebble Beach. I saw you guys playing Pebble, Pebble earlier, uh, so uh, you got St. St. Andrews Old Course out there. He says the ball comes to you. If you've got a sore back or maybe you're a little bit older, you don't have to bend over every single time and adjust your ball. So all of those things, I think, really boil down to the technology. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's a cool system. I mean, we're excited to see it. But anything else you guys like to add before we kind of get into how your simulators work? And I, I would just say for you know, any, any person that hasn't golfed before, um, X-Golf is a perfect place for beginners, right? If you've been that first time golfer, you know on the course there's everybody watching you tee off. You got a group behind you that's pushing you along. You're spraying your ball, you have to go chase it. So this is a great place for first time golfers. It's kind of low stress. You don't have the group staring at you and the stresses that you would typically have on a golf course. So. Yeah. So this is basically the screen you're gonna see when one of our sim caddies sets, sets up the, the demo for you, right? And you have all your options here. So you got play, if there's an event going on, we could set up an event and do some games and whatnot, practice tournaments and short games. So everything here is touch screen. So I'm ultimately just gonna hit practice. We'll go do a little range session. I'm gonna put my name in really quickly. I'm a male, I'm right-handed. We recommend everyone leave it on professional. If you're a golfer, kids, probably novice, right? To make a little more juice in the ball, get the kids a little excited about how far they're hitting it. Play from the white tees. And then I'm just going to set up my range session. Continue. Let that guy load. So I'll hit some drivers here and you can see all the metrics that we get, right? Smash factor, head speed, vertical, swing path, backspin, ball speed, carry, distance, right? So I want to hit a driver. Out, auto tee itself up. Now, I haven't, I didn't log my profile in, so I have to set my tee height there really quickly, and it'll remember that next time it tees up. Let me see my launch angle, my direction, my backspin, ball speed. Not bad for the first swing of the day. Got a little fairway action. So now if I wanna go and get out of here, maybe I wanna do some practice on a course, I can quit this. Say I wanna go do practice, say I wanna go hit one on a course, type into my profile. Say I wanna go play, we'll hit one at Innis Brook since the boys were just there. 
So if you want to set up like a specific training instance where you want to play, hey, I'm hitting off the tees at Innisbrook or I'm 100 yards into a green, whatever the case may be, right? We'll tee it up here. So you can turn those metrics off, give yourself a good view. Now basically I've got some stuff over here, which is some of the secret sauce, right? But we've got distance here. This is kind of my target line right now. 100% of my ball, so you'll see this will change as we get to different parts of the course, the rough, sand traps, things of that nature. But right now I'm gonna get 100% of my shot. And you can do some adjustment, right? If you wanna go left or right, maybe I do wanna dial in and let that do a little bit more. You can kinda, of, you know, give yourself a little bit better of, a, of an angle, try to hit that. That'll work. Use that one. So that's practicing a drive. Yeah, go set us up for a different shot. You can position the ball. You can pick anywhere. All off the bats. Oh. Not bad, right distance. Uh, yeah, you can go, you can practice the chipping, you can reposition the ball here. Yeah, show him one in the sand trap. Put me in the sand trap just so he can see the... Uh... Over here. Metrics here, you'll see that he's lying 50% in the bunker. So a 27 yard shot, 50%, you basically gotta hit a 55 yard shot, right, to get out of, to get to, get to the pin at this point. So it's giving you the real lies, it's giving you pretty, you know, accurate assessment in terms of where you're lying. The rough is usually 80 or 90% and the, um, Greenside bunkers are 50%, fairway bunkers are 80%. Cool. Yeah, so I know I got to hit this double what it tells me my distance is, basically. Good one. Fight hard. Check. All right. Well, That's terrible. That's important. Oh, see, look at that, I stroked it. It's still good, though. I'm telling you, I'm in love. And obviously, you guys have played this version before. But the way it's set up, who ever thought of this? The technology. It's a tech company. Play a full round of realistic golf. There it is. There we go. Just it takes a little bit to dial it in. Experience.